Okay, in the previous training video we went over adding effects to our text. In this one, just a distant cousin from it, is the same thing, adding effects to text, but we're going to learn how to change the effect, which is pretty simple actually, and we're going to add a new effect, or what's called the change font color effect. For example, up here, for my trends, revenue trends, I'll double click to select it, but the problem is, is that even though I'm intentionally trying to select it here, it's selecting all the effects over here. So what I can do is I can just click on revenue trends over here, come up here, click on change to go to emphasis. Now I'm changing it from the entrance. What's the current entrance effect? Let me click off in a blank area. You can hover over it and it says it's going to dissolve in. So if I go ahead and select it, click on change and go to emphasis and say, look, I want to change the font color. Well, if you click on more effects, then you can select it here. Double click on that. In the task pane, it says, okay, what do you want to change the font color to? Well, right now it's going to be pink. So when the animation effect comes in, it's going to change pink. Click on the drop down arrow. I can do more colors, but uh, click cancel. That's fine for now. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Click on the slideshow button. See how it came in? It was white, then it went, I mean, it was really fast, wasn't it? And then it's fading out now. Okay, I'm going to hit the escape key. And what I want to do next is to be able to customize this a bit. And to customize it, I can double click and bring up the effects, and I can do an auto reverse. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to come in with the color here and then revert back to its original color, which is going to be white. Click OK. Let's start the slideshow again. See, it comes in pink, and then it goes back out to white. Eh, that's kind of cool. I mean, if it works for you in your presentation, go ahead and use it. Hit the escape key. And of course, to have other emphasis on your text, you can just change the font. So you can go from Arial in the effect, transition to Times New Roman, change the font size. So you can go from little to smaller. You can actually do a grow shrink, which is kind of cool. So if I go ahead and I play this right here, it'll grow, which doesn't look all that great. And then it's supposed to shrink when it's done here. Of course, you may want to customize that a bit more. Let me click on the stop button, double click on it. It's going to increase the size of the font to 150%, and I can do an auto reverse so once it grows, it'll revert back to its original size. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.